Hello and welcome to The Clap, where we bring you music, movie reviews, interviews, and short films. That's right, and Robert was lucky enough to sit down with the one and only Chris Twellman in a one-on-one -on -one interview. How was that? Uh, it was pretty good. And if you like the video and what you're about to see, go ahead and click subscribe down below and share The Clap with your friends. But in the meantime, check it out. How's it going, everybody? I'm sitting across from the one and only Michael Cudlitz. Michael Cudlitz, how you doing? Oh my God! So I start with the with the sentence I ever said in the, the last weeks about one I think one thousand times. I'm not Cadillac. I'm just a lookalike. So, when you got your audition for The Walking Dead, how did you feel inside? <laughs> He's a damn fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> You know I have to have fun with you, man. <laughs> so I, I take it that people constantly are probably mistaking you for Michael Cudlitz. Yes, they did. Not that I did, they do already. They do all the time. When you went to Sonoy, I hear that it was very kind of... Yeah, it was, it was a funny time because we were sitting there in the cafe down in uh, uh, Woodbury. In the Woodbury cafe was Scott Spillman and... Uh, I think every two or three or five minutes, somebody came and asked me if I can, if, I, if you can take a photo with me, and they were, they thought I was Michael Cudlitz, and I always said I'm just a lookalike and right. um, a cosplayer. So, yeah, and and sometimes even when you say that loud and clear, I've noticed, you know, just being with you and Cecil, and the time that I've spent with you guys, that they almost choose not to hear it. Like you, can, I've heard you say many, oh, I'm not him, I'm not, I'm not Michael, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm Chris. And they get so caught up so sometimes that they I just don't them, even want so, to hear it. Sometimes I show them my ID card, my German ID, <laughs> so that they see there's another name with my picture. And right, what uh, what made you come on over here to US, uh, the US of A from Germany? Um, I started cosplaying last year, I think, in August, and um, get contact to some cosplayers here in America. Cecil Ghana, mm -hmm. I think you know him. And uh, <laughs> and uh, we had some contact, a little bit conversation, and he asked me if it's, uh, if I if I want to come to to the states to make some convention right, right. with him. So we just did it. We just right? Yes, we did. So <laughs> what has been like your your favorite thing that you've seen or done here in America so far? So far, the most favorite thing here in America, I think that was the convention and the spent the time here with all the guys I met. That right. was a lot, a lot of funny times. Right, make make connections with some cool people. Yeah, yeah. Who was your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad question. Oh come on, I it's a good answer. question. No, I don't answer. It's okay. I know it was me. So. Uh, I think the Spider Woman was nice. <laughs> spider Woman. <laughs> um, do you like uh, brownies or cake better? Cake. Cake. Yeah, these brownies are too dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's the coffee here in America? What do you mean? Coffee? What mm -hmm. is coffee? coffee? You mean the brown coffee. water? Brown water? The brown water, yeah. So you have to go so to, you to Starbucks to get it on. It's here. okay to come here to America and talk shit about our coffee. Yes, because the coffee is shit. No, the coffee is no. But it, it's not the same coffee like we have. I so see when you love no, strong it's coffee. Okay. It's okay. So, uh, Are you just mad that you lost the war? Huh? So, uh, came over here and we did like a little tour with Cecil. Mm -hmm. uh, was there anything different than you thought it was going to be? Like, you know, the conventions, how do, how do they may, may be different? Yeah, the conventions are much more bigger than Germany. I think the, the convention scene in Germany is, I think, new, it's very young, and so I think there's a lot of uh, things to do in Germany to get these conventions a little bit bigger. Right, right. So. And uh, as far as the cosplayers here in America versus the cosplayers in Germany, is it that same kind of driving passion? Is it as big in Germany as it is over here in America? I think the cosplay scene is as big as here. Depends on the size of the country. So mm -hmm. Germany is a little bit slower, a little bit uh, smaller than, than America. But I saw a lot of cosplayers in, in different countries in Europe, like Switzerland. There were a lot of amazing cosplayers mm -hmm. uh, in Germany too, of course. But it's different here, sure. 
Right. Do you have a favorite episode of The Walking Dead? Yes. What is it? Number, I think it's a episode number 10 in season 4. Because Cutlet started it. No, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and have you been working on your American accent? Uh, I met a, a, a stupid guy who was sitting, sitting in our casa whole day and tried to teach me the American accent. That man sounds like a genius. <laughs> I think you know him too, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> anyways, I think that's it. Um, just thanks for, you know, letting me uh, get this little interview. If I seem like an asshole, it's because I am. But it was a funny time. <laughs> right? Thank you. <laughs>